Hi, um, I just thought I'd make a short video showing you how, or what I think, are the best uh, mods for the Hubson H501S. Um, the first mod I actually did was to get some good batteries for the uh, transmitters. And the best one I found, I know you can do some LiPo um, mods, etc. But I bought these Panasonic Enloop Pro batteries, I think they were about £10 for four. Uh, that was about a year ago and honestly they'll do about four or five flights plus and don't need um, charging till that amount of time very powerful very stable and um, so I'm happy with those I bought some cheap ones on eBay which are in the other controller they do two or three flights need well they're on charge now actually and then after I started flying and getting used to the Hubson that was my first one uh, I upgraded the firmware to 1.1.17, which was 1.13, uh, so I got greater range, etc. But the video um, image kept breaking up uh, from about four or five hundred meters out. So I left that one alone, left that as standard, because that's my Playtime one. I bought some prop guards for this one, uh, which worked well. It has uh, survived a few crashes, apart from the old bash, as you can see. But what I did with this controller is, as you can see, I put the antenna mod mods on, which you've probably all seen, um, which worked well, but I fitted this aluminium uh, booster on, which I just used a little bit of rubber pipe and tie wrapped it round, polished the aluminium up a bit, and that made a massive, massive difference to the picture quality. I can go... Thousand yard, a thousand meters, sorry, easily. Still off, super picture. That is a must. Brilliant. Uh, both aerials, and that is a brilliant must. Also, as you can see on this one's got the sun shade. I have made one in my past videos, but uh, you can just buy them off eBay. But when you buy them, they're not for this controller by Hubson. And as you can see, the connector points where they plug in do not correspond. So all you have to do is get the old cycleters out, cut the uh, nibs off, which you can see, um, so it fits flush around the, the shoulder of the transmitter screen. I just get some black hot belt glue, warmed it up, as you can see, and I've just bonded that one on. Uh, and you can see, it looks apart, uh, and with it being black, nice neat job. So I'm just about to do that on this one. It's a grey day here in England, so uh, I'll still do a bit of flying. But yeah, that's my uh, intro to the modifications. Uh, happy flying. Bye.